Hello, this is Paul DiCarlo from WinCoder here to demonstrate some of the coded UI test editor functionality available in the Visual Studio 2010 Feature Pack 2. You can find out information about Visual Studio Feature Packs by visiting the URL highlighted above. I'll also include this link in the blog post. It has a lot of really cool stuff in it that helps out with coded UI testing, general testing, as well as some overall tweaks to Visual Studio. At this time, it does require having an MSDN subscription in order to download. So if you do have one, hop on over to the download section, pick this up, and you can follow along with the rest of this video. I'm going to go ahead and create a new project. This will be a test project in C Sharp. With the project created, I'm going to go ahead and add a new coded UI test by clicking on the project, right-clicking, selecting Add, New Test, then Coded UI Test. Visual Studio will then prompt me to see if I would like to record new actions or use an existing recording. I'm going to go ahead and record new actions for this video. In the bottom right hand corner, the Coded UI Test Builder will populate and we can get started with our recording by clicking the red recording button. I'm going to make a very simple action recording uh, where I'll open up Notepad, type in some sample text, and then we'll close Notepad and select the Don't Save button. I'll then click the Generate Code button on the far right, click Add and Generate. And you'll notice the project now has a UIMap.UI test file added to it. It also has a Designer CS file. This contains the generated code from our action recording. And you'll see it has functions for launching Notepad, typing this as a test into the Edit field, clicking the close button and clicking the don't save button. Normally when you double click or attempt to open a .UI test file in Visual Studio, if you don't have Feature Pack 2 installed, it'll ask you to use an XML editor. This is okay for editing the .UI test file, although it does come with some caveats. If you change the XML schema in a way that malforms it, you won't be able to recompile the generated code that comes from the XML schema. So be very careful if you do that and I would highly recommend using a tool like XMLPad if you're bold enough to do it that way. With Feature Pack 2 though we can now edit in Visual Studio in a way that's tailored to the action recording properties etc. One small thing when you do double click on the UI test file if you have Feature Pack 2 installed Visual Studio may complain about being unable to find a key present in the dictionary if you get that message, you'll want to go to your test project and unload, then reload the project. Your error should go away. So let's have a look at the coded UI test editor. With Feature Pack 2 installed, all you have to do is double click on the UI test file. And you'll see on the left we have our UI actions and on the right our UI control map. As I click through the actions, you can see which UI control is being acted upon in each action in the recorded method. So the close button you'll see acts on the UI close button and click don't save button acts on UI don't save button. Let's go ahead and play the test back and ensure that it is playing back exactly how we recorded. Should open Visual Studio, type this is a test and then close notepad. And there you go. It's behaving as expected. Well, if we want to make some edits to this, using the coded UI test editor, we can do this very easily. Say I want to change the text that I'm typing into the text box, which is the notepad editor field. I'm going to change this to be, this is a test that I edited in coded UI test editor. Also, maybe I want to remove some of my recorded methods, like the click close button. I can simply right click, choose delete, and now that's not part of my recorded method. I'm also going to remove the don't save button click. 
And my UI control map, I still have the UI close button and don't save button even though I'm not using them. In order to get rid of those, you can simply right click and choose delete. You do want to be careful though because if you delete a button that you are using in a recorded method and it's unable to find it on the playback or it's not defined in your code, you will have an error um, when playing back the coded UI test. So be very careful when you delete uh, UI controls out of the UI control map. So we'll go ahead and save this. And first, let's take a look at the generated code that occurs after saving. You'll notice some of the methods that I had recorded earlier are now gone. That's because the code is actually generated from the XML schema present in the UI test file. You can have a quick look at that still by right clicking and going to open with and selecting the XML editor. And this actually changes the structure within here that causes the generated code to change. So with my newly edited test, I'm going to go ahead and play this back and see if it reflects my new changes. So let's play this back. It should type uh, some new text into the edit text field and my window should not close at the end of playback. You'll see it says this is a test that I edited in Code UI Test Editor. So very simply without writing any code I was able to edit an already recorded action recording. Another really cool feature is the ability to change the search configuration and criteria for your UI controls. So like for the UI edit, item edit, I can go to search configuration and I can add a different search configuration such as always search, disambiguate, child, etc. These are defined further on the MSDN documentation. I'll go ahead and include a link to that as well in this blog post. Under search properties, you can do the common ability of adding a different way of searching for control and this is very useful in instances where you record a test and maybe it uses something that you don't really want to use to find the control because it's ambiguous, such as um, the instance property, you might want to get rid of that. So you can easily add things, um, remove them, and you even have the ability to use the regex uh, contains criteria to search for values. And this can help in instances where you're trying to find a dynamically changing property in a window that has something that is constant. So I hope that this video um, has uh, allowed you to see some of the enhanced functionality included in the Coded UI Test Editor. Thank you for watching. Once again, this is Paul DiCarlo from WinCoder. Thank you very much and have a nice day.